HMS Today, our morning announcement show. Today we'll bring you the question of the day and visit a, a visit with the Writers Club and a new Fun Fact Friday. But first, here's Mr. Keller with today's announcements. Thank you. Today is a day 10. The following clubs will be meeting today. Drama Club will meet until 3 o'clock for all interested students. Academy will meet after that. The Running Club will meet at 2 o'clock in room 249. In the spirit of the upcoming marathon, the Running Club would like to inspire us with the following quotation from William Shakespeare. Bid me run and I will strive with things possible. The following clubs will be meeting next week on Tuesday, Student Council for those members interested in planning our fundraiser. On Wednesday, the Art Club, Green Team, and Photography Club will meet. We'd like to wish good luck to Ben Nigrosh, who will represent Hopkinton Middle School in the Project 351 Ambassador Program, which kicks off tomorrow at the Massachusetts State House in Boston. Ben is one of 351 eighth graders from across the state who will meet Governor Deval Patrick and participate in a one-day service project. Thank you and congratulations, Ben. To all 8th graders, today is the deadline for turning in letters of re recommendation for Mr. Gundes' Leadership Academy. The Martin Luther King Junior Day of Giving Back will be held on Monday, January 21st at 9 a.m. in the middle school. The Hopkinton Youth Commission invites all middle school students to join in. There will be a free Dunkin' Donuts breakfast, followed by State Rep. Carolyn Dykema speaking about why she chose a life of public service. Following a speech, for those not already committed to help other town organizations, there will be service projects going on in the Brown Gym to benefit the homeless, the needy cancer patients, and service men and women. We hope you will join us in making this a day on, not a day off. The HMS Winter Olympics count is on. Only six more days until the HMS Winter Olympics. It will start on January 23rd with closing ceremonies on February 6th. This is a school-wide event that will happen primarily in your PE classes. Every student will be on a team to represent a country. You will learn more about this in your PE classes. Get ready, get excited, and be ready to participate in the HMS Olympics. Have you got talent? Well, the first annual HMS Talent Show will take place on February 27th. Think America's Got Talent and sign up for an audition to be held in early February. Stay tuned for audition details to be announced early next week. All students are encouraged to check the lost and found table in the cafeteria and in the locker rooms. All items not claimed by Friday, January 31st will be donated to charity. The Spanish word vendir means to overcome or to conquer. It is our word of the day. Ms. Feeney wants to recognize her 7th grade Spanish class for trying their best and to her 8th graders for speaking a lot more Spanish in class. Birthdays. Happy birthday today to Freya Proudman. Tomorrow, happy birthday to Mitch DiPaolo and Andrew Paleco. And on Sunday, happy birthday to Tommy Leone, Alyssa McIntyre, and James Stilwell. Monday being a holiday, happy birthday to Justin Buffard and Zach Ritterbush. Have a great day today, everyone, and a great weekend. Thank you, Mr. Kelly. Up next, we have two members of, writers, of Writing Club, Robbie Scanavan and Corey Rosowski, sharing their poem by Nick Bradley. Tommy the writer came to school one day. His best friend, Shu, walked by to say, I'm going to write on the teacher's chalkboard. This abrupt comment, Tommy ignored. When he walked into class, he saw his teacher staring at the board in awe. Shu's writing was an amazing creation. Shu used chalk in his own imagination. To describe the spectacular chalk world world, Tommy's angry thoughts turned and twirled. I'm the best writer in, the, in class, not that pest teacher and kids. I am the best. Tommy erased Shu's breathtaking story, hoping it would, be free, it would deprive Shu of this glory. Tom walked out the door, streaming with rage. So much anger, in fact, it would fill this page. Tommy came home and sat in his chair. Everyone loves Shu, he thought. It's just not fair. I am the number one writer, and Shu is not. Yet the respect Shu has, I haven't got. Tommy listened to his words and began to wonder if his display of anger had been his greatest blunder. I'm not a writer, he finally realized. I'm just cruel. Tommy sighed. Tom ran back to school and walked up to Shu. Hello, best friend. I must say sorry to you. I should never have erased what you'd wrote. Sorry, I say, but I won't keep things on that note. I, I must also remind you that you're my best friend. Our friendship, I hope, will never end. I was selfish and wanted all of the fame, but now my writing only shows my shame. We can both be great writers, you and me. This I hope you can see. The two writers stood in silence for a while until Shu's frown turned into a smile. Want to read my latest book, Shu asked. Of course, Tommy replied at last. The two walked off to get some grub before heading to Writers Club. Thanks, guys. Miss Sloan mentors the Writing Club, and she invites anyone interested to stop by a meeting and check them out. The, they meet Wednesdays right after school in room 224. And now co comes the question of the day. Today's question is, what did you do over winter break? I went to Florida and had a really fun time. I hosted not one, not two, but three parties, and everybody had fun. We played basketball! I went to Spain, 
and I flew over to Madrid, and then I went to Toledo and Granada, and then we went back up to Sevilla and Cordoba. I saw Hunger Games catching fire, and it was awesome. I spent a lot of time hanging out with my girlfriend, Katy Perry, and also listening to the fine music of One Direction. We love basketball! Keep an eye out for our Robin camera, and maybe we'll see you on the next question of the day. Our last segment is of the morning is Fun Facts Friday. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. Today I have two guest assistants. Please welcome Caroline and Grace. Bookkeeper. Bookkeeping. Are the only two words in the English language that have three consecutive double letters. Thank you, Mr. Ruckwood. That's all, we have, all the time we have for today. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time on HMS Today. Good luck out there.